Surprised he still remembers the passcode? That's a fairly good point. Who are you playing with, huh? You and your three imaginary friends. You know, at least he has a board game down here. Like, that keeps him from going crazy. Er. Er. Definitely er. <laughs> He's something to pass the time between, you know, working on his culinary masterpieces of sprat meat. Uh, where's the ladder up? Alright, so now we can go back and access that control terminal. See what's going in. So we should be able to turn them against each other, which... Wall seems like a smart thing to do from a I'm playing this like I really would and I don't want to die perspective, but they're going to steal their own XP. So I kind of would rather have the battle just to have some more combat fun. <laughs> Modify behavior. Um, I'm going to exit. If it becomes necessary to modify... Oh, what is, what I get experience for I'm going to go kill things and then modify the behavior. We're trying to keep Jeremy out of this. We're trying to keep everyone out of this. That way we get all the sweet, sweet experience ourselves. Be right there. Oh, just the door we wanted. Oh, ho, another locked door that thinks it can keep me out. So I am thinking that you need roughly twice the skill level to not have it cost any picks. Maybe that's it. Great work. Or 20 over the skill level to not have it cost picks. So I saw that back there. Jeweled ring. Metal ring inset with a gemstone. Unavided gemstone inset into its metal accent frame. Probably not gonna let you buy a new spaceship, but it's definitely worth a few bits. Nice. So this looks like I can climb all the way up onto the vents from here, so do that before looting this room. Eh. I climb all the way on the vents from here. Apparently not. Not that there's anything up on top of them. Anyway, a workbench! Hallelujah. So, this... Ooh, the pipes are leaking. I'm Steve. You're liable to get scalded. This is going to answer a question for me that I was curious about that I forgot to check last time. So if I do... Break down three parts, 20% chance to get a mod. If I use the workbench breakdown, three parts, 20% to get a mod. Okay, so breakdown isn't affected, but repair and tinker are. So let's get this repaired. Um, everything else looks pretty good, and let's repair my armor because it's good armor, and I want it to not make me die. Um, also, let us change from the mods um, that we currently have on our armor. Oh, actually, what we want to do is tinker with her helmet and give it more levels because it's pristine to start with and it's way cheaper and then we're going to take the helmet from her. See, it's saying it's going up in armor, but it's not. Hold on. Okay, it is going up. So, this way we can improve our helmet. Did she ever get a level up? Nope, still no perk points for her. But she does, she does get a bonus to armor. I don't know if I'm giving her that or what. Tech armor on? Oh! That's a smart plan. I didn't even consider that. Because if you're... 
increasing our engineering even more if we're wearing tech armor while crafting tech or engineering that's science i don't think we have a tech helmet yet we could get even more parts and stuff from things it's actually really really smart Does it let me power things up even more? Probably. Um, all right, install mod. So what I wanted was the geographical scanner is nice, but I kind of need the backpack. So I'm going to install the backpack mod instead of the ge geographical scanner. I'm going to likely find things on the ground just fine. So this way I don't have to... Uh, Spend nearly as much. Also, does her hammer... Okay, it does have a Mr. Zap thing installed, and that's the only thing it can get installed. Alright. So... Whew! 2,000 to tinker up to one more level? No, thank you. Although, for some reason, hers is cheap. Why does hers cost so much less to tinker up? Oh, maybe it doesn't. Um, where's my helmet? There we go. We're up to 26 armor. That's not too bad. And maybe buff our favorite gun. Oh, yeah. And buffing this gun would get us... A thousand bits. Eh, let's not do a thousand bits. It's already pretty powerful. Although, uh, we could make her cannon a little bit better. There we go. Alright. Yeah, thank you for the tip of uh, putting on tech gear when doing armoring, because uh, that's really smart. Alright, now... I'm guessing that is toxic gas. Let's go around that. <laughs> oh, the mechanical is blocking my shots on its friend. To Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? Yes, I, I am curious about your opinions on whether we're, what we're doing is right or not, Parvati. Just close that for now until we finish looting this room. Superheated steam, yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, because it's a geothermal plant, so that's all the steam that's being heated by the lava. Yeah. Oh, shut off steam release valves, engineering 20. Boom. Hey, we got a pickaxe. We got an axe. Oh. We go mining. Also, it is so nice to have that extra 20 pounds of carry weight. Holy crap. Uh, I'm definitely glad I switched up the backpack module. I was just worried that now I picked up two new melee weapons, I wouldn't be able to carry anything. But nope, plenty of room. Okay, so now I have this. Oh. <laughs> it just goes into the same room. Bet you there's something hidden back here. Or not. Nope. All right, let's move on to the next room. Oh, aha! I think there would be something under the stairs. Yeah, it's amazing that almost all power generations, even nuclear power, is basically just steam power, but with a different fuel source.
Whoa, hello, combat drone. You came out of nowhere. Let's do a big old EMP for me. Oh. Yeah, she just tears through these guys with her assault rifle. Or her heavy weapon. I'm glad I uh, equipped her with the right tool for the job. Um, do, do, do. There are a lot of dead workers. Okay, let's see what's down here. Even more dead worker. But they did not have a good time. Oh, this poor guy managed to get himself partially in cover and then die. So sad. I am feeling the little, like, the vastly shorter range on what you can pick up. But I think I can compensate it now that I know roughly what a lot of the things I'm looking to loot look like. So it should be kind of neutral between my effectiveness and looting. But now I can just carry more. Alright, let me finish looting up here, then I'll flip the final switch. Where does this go? Oh, hey, this goes back to one of the starting hallways, as does this. All right, sweet. I'm not sure what the right is. All I know is the decision's final. Yeah, huh? Oh. I was hoping she would weigh in and be like, I think we should send the power to here. I think we should send it there. She's, she's an engineer. She's got a good take on probably what the best use of the power is, so... It'll be interesting to see what she thinks. Um, where the hell are we going? Now that all the auto mechanicals are dead, let's go run back down. Let's go let uh, Jeremy out, because Jeremy is now safe. Uh, Jeremy's in this room. And then let's go talk to our engineer buddy, because he might be super happy that he has now has a Jeremy friend. It's not the best choice. It's the spacer's choice. So do you want to help destroy other mechanicals? Affirmative. Mechanicide protocols loaded. Awaiting confirmation. Yeah, go have fun. All right, Jeremy's out out for a nice little walk. He's only going to kill auto mechanicals. We don't have to worry about him killing uh, Higgins. So let's go grab let Higgins know that we've cleared the plant. I don't know if he's going to actually have an option, but this game has surprised me quite a few times about having options when I didn't think they'd have options to talk about new developments. You're safe to go out now, Higgins. What's eating you? The tail. Yeah, let's not talk about the tail. Um, all right. Forgot what you were gonna say? All right, well, you can just stay down here. I'm sure you're cooking a show, uh, I don't know, seasonings for Sprat? I don't know. A thousand ways to cook a Sprat will be a huge hit. All right, so the main control room was way back at the start. <gasps> loot! Loot that I missed. Jeremy on patrol. Very interesting leg structure they have. I mean, I guess it's stable and it'll still make them move. Just seems a little wobbly, but I mean, making a robot move is making a robot move. It's not going to be a pretty thing regardless. And Adreno. Go use his code on the terminal. Ah, thank you. Give Jeremy some backup. Modify behavior. Oh, 
Okay, I didn't have... I could go in there. All right. Auto mechanical behavior mode. Guard mode. Article... Guard mode targets intruders. All right. Select new mode. Auto mechanicals in the facility have been mandated to remain in guard mode. Any attempt to alter this setting is punishable by company law. This infraction has been noted in your permanent record, C. Higgins. Please see your supervisor to schedule a reprimand. Oops. Select your target. Auto mechanicals in this facility have been mandated to target intruders. Any attempt to alter this setting is punishable by corporate law. Infractions have been noted in your permanent record, Higgins. Supervisor, see your supervisor to schedule a reprimand. All right, let's define intruders. Intruders, all persons or entities not identified as property of space or choice. Would you like to modify the definition of intruders? Um, redefine it to auto mechanicals. Definition of intruders successfully updated. Modify definition successfully forwarded security. Please allow some time to process and remove all recently defined intruders. Nice. Return to root. Let's go see if Jeremy has anything to say. Jeremy? Hey, Jeremy. Protocols currently active. Please do not interrupt. All right, you go have fun killing people. Or killing robots. I mean, Jeremy seems a little... Well, I mean, Jeremy's not sapient, but... He's pretty personable for a robot. All right. Well, let's go make a decision about where we're putting the power. I've been putting this decision off because I really do don't know. Still going back. Yeah. Do you do you have a opinion? Yeah. Huh? No, you've just been ominously telling me things. Hey, Mister. There you go. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you: Do you understand what you're about to do? I would love to hear your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Huh. And, I mean, I guess if I took away Edgewater's power, they would kick everyone out, it would kick everyone out of town, and they'd all probably die to the dogs and stuff, because they don't seem like the most competent lot. And if I pulled the power, or the greenhouse's power, they would probably end up going back to town... But then they have to deal with Thompson and his idiotic policies, which is what made them leave in the first place. Is there a third option where I can, like, take the greenhouse's power, but then, like, shoot Thompson? Because, I mean, I don't mind being a little bit of a gray hat person in the uh, storyline. I mean, it's only corporate it's at fault. Like, he was the one who decided not to share the medicine. Like, it wasn't the rest of the people's fault. So, I really shouldn't punish them for, you know, doing what they think is right. Or, you know, doing their jobs. Um, see your point? I think I'm ready to make a decision. Reed tell me Edward's going to die without workers and power. Serves our community. Can't just destroy what they built. Um, let's talk about the Edgewater some That sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big... Happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Deserters of community can't just destroy what they built. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Hmm... <sighs> <sighs> Man, I just wanted to screw over Spacer's Choice, but 
yeah, I'm, I'd be screwing over the people, not really so much Spacer's Choice. Uh, why do you have to be the voice of reason, Parvati? You're actually making me want to cut the power to deserters. Because, like, I don't want to upset Parvati. Like, I feel like she... I don't know if it's a hinges on keeping her as a companion level decision if I make the other choice or not. Uh... See your point, ready to make a decision. Do you have anything Sorry, else to say? I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just. I felt like I had to say something. Glad you did. I like hearing from you. Don't worry, I'm barely listening to you. Wow. Jerk. No, I like hearing from you. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I... No one's ever told me those words in that order. Oh, you... Ah, oh, that makes... <laughs> yeah, I almost want to save Edgewater just because she asked me to. Definitely, we want to do a save. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me do two saves. Oh, I don't know what to do. I feel uns... That was evil devs. Like, I was gung-ho on screwing the town, and then she's like, there are good people in that town, and I'm like, yeah, you're kind of right. And, ah, I'm more conflicted than I was before. I mean, I guess I could just not redirect the power. It's an irreversible procedure. God, at least they tell you it's an irreversible one. I mean, they're good people, but they are brainwashed. Ah. Uh, uh, hmm. Let me see in the journal to see if there's like an option to go talk to each person again. Guess I just have to do the arrangement. Ah. I need the thing for my ship, so there's no way I can't just not make a decision. I have to tear one of the two of them out. They both have one. I can't dress fast travel out. I was going to go see if I could talk to them again and be like, all right, convince me. Um, hmm. Once you enter the power plant, if you leave without changing the power, you fail. Ah, crap. So I do have to make a decision without re-talking to people. Uh, I mean, honestly, if I give the botanical lab the power, all the people in Edgewater will probably end up joining them, but some of them would probably die. I mean, there's only a couple people in that town that I don't want to die. Like, Silas is a good guy, the auto mechanical resistance guy is a good guy. I mean, everyone else was kind of a jerk to Parvati. Like, I don't know why she's fighting so hard for them. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna try cutting the power, and we'll, as, as long as she doesn't leave me, even if she's a little upset, yeah, like, I think that's fine. Redirecting power to the botanical lab. All right, Edgeward power regulator is now safe to remove. Additional structural damage detected. 
blatant disregard for spatial choice property has been logged. Please report yourself to the designated supervisor immediately. All right. Screw you, Spacer's Choice. We're siding with them. Vadi, please don't be mad at me. I can't stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. I'm glad the deserters are going to be all right now they got power, but what about the town? All those people. Spacer's Choice reputation decreased. What did it decrease to? Oh no, it decreased by 10% negative. Wow. Wow. So it... There wasn't even an issue there. Like, I cut off the entire town's power and they're like, Man, you're just a little bit annoying. Meanwhile, these guys are like, best employee ever, deserves a big bonus and promotion. Yeah, alright, you know what, I'm happy with this decision. Screw Spacer's Choice, they're at? terrible, terrible people. Parvati's still with me, unless she leaves me when we leave the power plant. Because, you know, I like her as a companion, she is a fun companion, so as long as it doesn't risk her, I don't mind. All right, let's see what the results of our choice are. That was a tough one. Like, that was a tough one. Something you need? All right, she's not angry with me, so... Um... How do I... Oh, did I miss this button before? Oh, oh! This is the guard room. I never went in this before. I was like... I wonder why I've never shut that power off, but... Another advanced defensive helmet. I'm gonna keep hold of that, because that's like the best thing we found so far, and Vicar Max is gonna be joining us. Intimidate troop helmet. Let's get a little bit of hacking on. Yeah, that one. Let's get a little bit more hacking on. Not tech, I need stealth. Which one's stealth? Well, we almost saved ourselves a thing. Alright, disarm security fences. Security fences disarmed. View recent logs. Uh, security log accessible. Keeping a space of choice company policy. All security logs have been turned in. In the event of a major emergency, catastrophic event, or security breach. We deleted everything so no one could tell what happened. Security updates at space of choice facility are critically overdue. Your last security scheduled security update occurred on date not found. You're a member of the Space Choice Security Detail Assigned to Location. Turn in your identification for immediate reprimand. Failure to do something may result in an immediate reprimand. Wow. Alright, well, let's go to the greenhouse, because we have the only stuff we have left to turn in are at the greenhouse. Um, we can go turn in that third guide to mechanical engineering. And then... From there, we can see what the result of our choice is. Like, I gotta remember... You took one down. ...that no matter how tough that choice was, they are kind of all brainwashed, and they're all kind of dying of plague anyway. And so... Like, this seems like the best plan. Just really, really hard decision to make when Pravati made the appeal for them. I don't know what you did to talk some sense into Zoe, but I appreciate it. And let's see if we can talk to Adelaide about taking in the town and maybe, like, supporting them on her crops as well. Because that seems like it'd be a uh, useful thing. Hello there. I don't believe I've been in this house before. I like how I steal one thing and, like, the kitchen drawer opens up to let me steal more. It's like, here, please take more. All 
All right. That means we definitely have a huge discount on these guys' shop. Something I can help you with? Let us sell. Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. I mean, they get meat and stuff. Like, they're, they're getting some uh, good food and stuff out here. Like, I I'm glad. Laminated Enray armor. Uh, I don't think I'm going to run into much Enray damage. Sure Grip, weapon mod. Increases loss of weapon durability on use. I don't feel like that's a too useful one to pick up just yet. All right. Let's go turn in the engineering manual before talking to her, just in case it blocks us off of anything. Thank you for the bits, monster kid. Rip to the people at water. Yep. Wait, do we have level up? No. Any luck finding one of those manuals? Today's your lucky day, Thomas. We've got one of those data pads you wanted. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? The elusive part three. Someone stashed away inside the old geothermal plant. The geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible. You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. That's a complete set. All three parts. I'm going to be the greatest engineer Halcyon's ever seen. Um, aside from you, Ms. Parvati, I swear, I'll do you proud. I'm glad we could help, Thomas. I've been saving something for you. Uh, just a little contraption I found. And another Should electro fit right mod. into your outfit. All right. I want to ask you something. What's on your mind? Uh, how long have you lived here? A couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that Aww, way. Aw, so you make me feel better about supporting this place. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. I, I feel a lot better. All right, anyone else named in this town? I do not remember anyone named in this town other than the shopkeeper, Zoe, the gate guard. I think that's everybody. I don't even know where Zoe is. I haven't seen her around. Is she up this way, maybe? Alright, let's go talk to Adelaide. Actually, maybe Zoe's over in this house right behind him. No? Nope. Alright, Adelaide, I've given you extra power. Can you produce more food and maybe share with the people of the other place? Ooh, ooh. Aha! You are now looking the other way. Let me finish what I started. Got it. Inside voices. Not that I really needed that mod, but... Where the hell are you looking? Not like I should feel bad for, like, you know, stealing from them. I did just kill off an entire town for their benefit. You hear that? That low, pleasant hum of electricity? It whispers across the veil like the winds of change. You've done well. I would have paid my last five bits to see the look on Reed's face when the last lamp in town burnt out and the cannery fell to silence. Yeah, we're gonna go find out about that. Hate the town all you want. It won't bring your son back. What happens now? Yeah. Blunt as a hammer. But you're right. Nothing can undo the past. Hey, technician! Time Thank you for subscribing to Twitch Prime. Future. We'll grow, I expect. A lot of workers out there with nowhere else to go. Okay, so you're planning on taking them in. That's that's good. I'm glad you enjoy the content. Uh, you don't sound pleased. A lot more mouth to feed. I'm not sure I made the right decision. A lot more mouths to feed. Not as many as you'd think. We're not about to let the whole town join our flock. Just the ones willing to renounce their corporate loyalties. Uh, I mean, intended. I am curious. Why did you help us? You don't know who we are. You don't owe us a thing. The plant's crawling with mechanicals, so it stands to reason you risked your life. I don't like Spacer's choice. I mean, between your camp and Reed's cannery, yours is the better way of life. 
I like the idea of being Reed's lackey. Didn't do this for you. I'm trying to repair a ship. Yours is the better way of life. Although I really, really wish you would take in more of the people and then just kind of like slowly work on them rather than being like, we're not feeding you until you accept it. You're not quite like anyone else I've met. You haven't had your consciousness programmed by the board. You're welcome among us if you're ever so inclined. I'm glad I made the cut. Hey, hey, I'm not done talking to you. You are welcome here. Well, I guess you're done talking to me. I wanted more info and stuff, but all right. Let's go assess the damage in town. Boy, there are going to be a lot of people. Yeah, you know, honestly, like, I don't really care about anyone back in the other town. <laughs> uh, I mean, Silas and the, Silas and the uh, leader of the re resistance. Those two guys are cool, but everybody else, yeah. Um, I don't want to... Here we go. I'll fast travel to the landing pad. That way, I can talk to the people on here without going into town and maybe getting, like, shot up by the guards, because I don't know if I'm wanted on sight. I'm assuming they'll know who turned the power off, so... Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage us. Hmm. Mentioned a logic module. Oh, yeah, here's our, uh, the quest. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh, well, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it, then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something <laughs> tactile. <laughs> He's boosted our so rep after cutting their power. Horrible. And a little something to remember me by. Awesome, we got a shock stick. Is that like a... Oh, it's a unique! Awesome! Ooh, wow, that's a lot of DPS. Uh, it's got 20% more power and 15% more attack speed? Wow. Hold on. Let's try not hitting anybody with it. Alrighty then. That's a fun weapon. I've got so many cool weapons, I don't know which one to keep. But hopefully, we'll uh, not have to worry about that. Alright, let me just go to these vending machines and offload some uh, loot. Apparently, I don't have any junk to sell. Do I have anything else that I picked up? Where did all this stuff come from? Why didn't, wasn't I not able to sell this at the other place? I don't know. Energizing ointment. Faster movement speed and melee attack and attack speed. Yeah, it's, it's still only for 10 or 20 seconds. It's not really worth the, uh, the inventory weight to have those things on me, so... Oh, and then I was going to sell... I... This is Spacer's Choice. I should have sold back at the uh, greenhouse because they would have given me the best deal. Blunt weapon that's good for the Vicar? Alright, I'll take the chainsaw axe back on. It's the same weight. Oh, actually, this is half as much weight. Take the... The, the laser sword. This is just so cool. Alright. Here we go. Little town's not gonna be happy here. Well, the guard isn't attacking me on sight, so that's pretty good. Some hull heads running around town talking about lost colony ships. Yeah, that would be me. Don't mind me, just continue t gossiping about the power loss in town. These signs are still on. These lights are still on. What's going on? I guess, oh, it looks maybe dimmer in here? What's going on, Vicar? Emergency power? I'll meet you on the ship when you're ready to depart from Emerald Vale. Captain. Alright. Let's 
talk to everyone, and then we'll talk to the boss last. Oh. Power's out, but I can't just leave my goods unattended. Don't suppose you'd care to do business? Let's see what you got. Music to my ears. Well, we got the full discount on this. Oh, you do not have a lot of uh, wares. Got a ton of Saltuna. And then the special hammer. I don't know what's different about this hammer than anything else. Oh, wow. I saved that specifically to sell for 13. Jeez. All right, whatever. That was not worth very much, but whatever. Um. Move along. Like the power's like slowly dying here. Power's gone. Law knows how long. Looking to get drunk? Oh, he's gonna be gone a long time. Go ahead. All right. Um. Well, you know, all in all, doesn't seem to have affected everyone's life all that much. Why are all the lights off? The power is out in the whole town. Pipe down. Okay, I'm a little concerned that the sick house has gotten sealed off. Um, what moron on loss of power designed these doors to lock? See, now I feel a little bit bad. I was going to see if they uh, ever got the the medicine to everybody. I can't possibly cut anyone's hair in the dark. Go outside. There's a sun. Go ahead. Seem pretty enthusiastic about this place. What do you know about this plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. You look a I wouldn't call yourself. them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. Yeah, I don't feel nearly as bad considering they were withholding medicine from the sick ones. Why don't you treat all your workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. That's monstrous. Nature is monstrous, friend. And this plague is natural selection at work. Seem pretty enthusiastic. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work. Not since the plague started. Sounds exhausting. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. Yeah, no. I, I'm feeling better and better about my decision other than the fact the hospital's work. locked. Um. See what the constable has to do. Actually, did I ever get my stealth up to 30? Oh, no. So I was told on a YouTube comment that if I got my stealth up to... Okay, hold on. I think I have stealth helmets and... Oh, no, it wouldn't matter because pickpocket requires my base stealth to be that high. All right, if I can get that last little bit of experience and get my level, I can pickpocket a unique shotgun from the lieutenant. How am I supposed to file a report with a power dead? Boy, I'm glad I turned in my quests and stuff before this point. Was there any other unfinished quests that I need to turn in? No. Oh no! She can't get into her workshop. Why do these doors seal? It's a concern. Oh. Oh. Hello, what's going on here? Are we getting paid or not? Any loss of productivity will be deducted from your pay. Yeah, see, you're assholes. I, I have no sympathy here. Mr. Thompson is aware of your concerns and remains committed to guiding Edgewater into prosperity. So where'd you over by the... You teleported over here faster than I got over here. That cannery. You must be very proud. Maybe Adelaide was right to leave. Desertion is a criminal offense, punishable by hard labor. So you mean going to work? What are we supposed to do now? Exercise patience and contemplate the scriptures. Anyone else want to chime in? Yeah, Adelaide was right to leave. 
Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's you. Reed told me I should be expecting you. He's inside. Oh, boy. Oh, no. I don't get to go see what's up in his secret office room. Hello, Phyllis. You picked a fine time to visit, stranger. Oh, no. oh, that one still ha that door still has power. Um, also, whoever, uh, if anyone knows how to get into this room, do please let me know because if I don't know if it's still even possible, because now we're about to leave and I still have not figured out how where that door is. So, here comes the guilt trip. All right. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? It's not personal. I need your power regulator. I don't owe you explanation to teach you a lesson. I mean, that seems a little bit more confrontational, but... Like, he's not going to accept it's not personal, or I don't owe you an explanation, so... <sighs> Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. Adelaide had the right idea. I had to make you see that. You're all slaves to Spacer's choice. I'm liberating you. Life is full of betrayals. I'm just the most recent one. You're a horrible person. You deserve everything that's coming to you. You're all slaves to Spacer's choice. I'm liberating you. Liberating? Edgewater is my home. The only home I've ever had. I put down roots here. Gave decades of my life to this place. I never asked to be liberated. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Yeah, call off the guards. I don't want them bleeding all over my power regulator. Sorry about all this, Reed. What's going to happen to Edgewater? Um... See, the thing is, I, I think if I don't intimidate him here, because I've never seen an intimidate or any check pop back up, then I don't think I'm going to get the chance to do it, and I'm going to have to kill the guards. And Parvati would be really upset with me if I had to kill townsfolk. So I really want to know what he thinks is going to happen, but we'll see if that choice is still there. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for, and then leave us be. Stand down, all of you. We're done here. Oh, damn. Yeah, you would all been dead. You'd have been dead, and 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 you would have been dead. All right, let's put some skill points in. So we want to grab our stealth... You know what? Let's just get hack and lock pick up to 50 while we're at it. Stealth is up to 40, which means we now have pickpocketing. Nope. Um, and we can get ourselves a perk. So... Uh, fast travel encumbered is pointless. Less durability loss. I'm going to go with tactical time dilation recharge rate. So now we can use our time dilation even more. And I think the only other useful one is uh, base armor rating. Shh. Oh. Actually. Damn it. Okay, you can pickpocket. What do you think you're doing? Whatever I want. I don't have time for this. Move along. Alright, so moving targets are very hard to pickpocket from. Oh no, my reputation decreased. What's it now? 
only 18% negative. Oh, and 96% positive because I helped out the robotic resistance. So I cut these people's power and they're only 4% less happy that with me than the uh, deserters. All right, then. These red lights are starting to get a little bit on the annoying side, though. All right, there wasn't any loot in this room because I already cleaned anything out that was in here. Ah! Yoink! One power regulator. All right, so I think I still had one quest. Return to the unreliable. Oh. One of them said return to... Oh, maybe I completed the return to um, the other guy. From outside of town, you can get into that one. Well, I hope I can still do that. Uh, where did Thompson go? Is Reed hiding in there? Mr. Thompson is aware of your concerns and remains committed to guiding Edgewater into prosperity. Deal with the bar drinking his troubles away? Where the hell did he go? I should have followed him. So here's the problem. She's now over here, even though I can pickpocket from her, and no way am I getting away with it in that crowd. Um... Private Kimball. Oh, this is Lieutenant Mercer. It's a completely different person. Edgewater's experiencing what we in the profession like to call a quandary. How am I supposed to file a report with a power dead? Yeah. All right, let's do some stealthy, stealthy sneakiness. You don't see me, you don't see me. I'm too sneaky for you. I don't have a stealth hat? I thought I had a stealth hat. Guess I don't. Uh, what would be pickpocket? Was that... Sneak. Yeah, nothing I can do there. All right, anyone else around that could catch me doing this? What you're doing? All right, so apparently I can't steal from her when she's right next to the wall. Hey, well, welcome to your first live stream, JD Crow. Glad you're able to join in. All right, well, I don't think it's her anyway. I think it's only the head of security that has the special weapon, uh, unique shotgun. So, yeah, unfortunately. All right. Cannery's dead. This is going to throw a wrench into my actuarial tables. Maybe you should go join... Or who are you going to give the medicine to? Somebody deserving. All right. Well, never an update on whether the medicine got to them. We have a Thompson in here. Hmm. Hmm. Sad, depressed Thompson. No. Right. Well, that wants us to go back to Hawthorne's ship. I want to go back to the... Oh, no, wait. I want to get that, that stuff outside of town. Uh, probably should get a door near the cannery to get into that back room. Not that there's anything great in there, I don't think, probably, but there might be a unique weapon. It's always worth a chance to check. All right, so there it is. So if we go out to the left from this door, we'll be able to see where we get in from. Also, look at the plague symptoms. What, what was I going to ask about the plague symptoms? Oh, I need to go talk to the uh, the medical doctor about the plague symptoms. 
That was one of the pieces I missed? Okay. I'll go back inside town and ask them about it in a second. So it should be like a door in the wall here? Well, that's sealed, so I'm hoping that's not the way to get in. Ah, crap. Oh, oh, good. I can still lockpick this. I completely missed that door the first time I came through here. Okay, get a shot cannon, some armor and weapon parts. I am now overburdened. Hey, we got a silencer for our muzzle. We got some tech skill armor pieces. Which I actually probably should put the tech skill uh, on a tech um, armor thing so I can really crank my engineering so I have a repair suit. So I think that's one of the things I'll do once I get a hold of a workbench. Um, oh, one more box. Alright, we got some good stuff in there. Um, I don't need... I don't really need a second zap cannon. I'd rather give, like, a grenade launcher or a different heavy weapon to my other uh, companion. And now I can run again. Oh, I missed some lockpicks next to a box. I might as well clean that out. Bort, war, borst, borst, It's not the worst unless it's borst worst. Okay, apparently. Ah, oh, I see him. So this is the downside of having the backpack mod rather than the highlighting thing, is the highlighting thing would have helped me see in the dark on the shelf. Yeah, I knew you meant mag lockpicks. Anti Cleo's better than nature. Okay, let me go back into town. I think if I near Oh. Can't fast travel when near hostels. Can I fast travel now? There we go. Alright, we'll go talk to the barber and ask him about more of the plague stuff, and then we'll see uh, what else goes from there. What can I do for you? Go ahead. Uh, what do you know about the plague? The plagues come at us with a vent. I. What are the symptoms? Fever, chills, fatigue, aching. Vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. What you're describing sounds a lot like a flu. Whatever it may be, I have developed my own palliative. Boiled canid liver and a splash of ethanol. Interesting. So they're just sick with the flu and they won't give them flu shots. Welp. And I think we're close enough to getting off the planet that if you guys had any uh, um, extra lore and stuff that I missed, unless I find something new by talking to Silas right here, I feel free to uh, fill me in on whatever I missed as far as the plague. Don't see the sense in all this fussing over the power. Cannery shutting down just means I'll have more bodies to bury. Ugh. Making me sound, uh... Yeah? Still, still, I'm happy with my choice. It was a tough one, but I'm happy with it. Our, our, our body? Something you need? We still cool? We still cool. Alright, let's go jump up to the greenhouse just to see if anything's changed with them. Spectrum Vodka, class for every or glass for every class. Let's see, do you guys have anything to say? No, you got power? I've never seen the camp so lively. If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Adelaide, where the hell are you? 
Adelaide. Come on, Adelaide. Did I walk right by her? It's hard to tell with all this. Fo I walked right by her. You are welcome here. All right. Guess I'm not getting anything else from them. So time to leave planet. Uh, Quantum thought it was scurvy. Space station choice employees eat saltuna day in and day out. I mean, yeah, eating some fruit would do them good. I, I do hope a lot of them find their way to this place. Yeah. Huh. All right. Well. Let's go to the ship. Um, map. Where's the good fast travel point? We'll go to the landing pad. I like the landing pad. It's close enough to town, but we also get to trap, like, run a little bit. So that way, any kind of, like, I'm an NPC and I'm running up towards you to tell you something kind of events can happen. Ow! Ow. I knew that was going to happen. Like, I'm running a little bit too fast down this cliff. See if the dogs respawn. People have been wanting me to use this cleaver, so. Is there anything in this deserted old ship? Nope. Here, evil space doggos. Can we look at the grave and see if we can't do an interaction or anything? Because we know that this is the guy who went to bury his wife but couldn't afford the gravesite fees and then died because of it. No. Oh, I thought I saw dead birds up by this tree, so I was like, oh, maybe there's some mobs I haven't killed yet. I think we did a pretty good number on the general mob population of this zone. Just all the town problems, literally all of them, stem from the fact that Saltoon is half sawdust or sand, and that all Reed lets the town eat without paying extra, and the source of the plague is the same as scurvy, malnutrition. Medicine probably wouldn't even have helped for long, especially the symptoms stop you from vomiting, but you're still dying, just slower. Oh. Yeah, okay. Oop. Kind of ran into the wall there because I was reading chat while running forward. <laughs> We went back and killed those... Yeah, we killed those, uh, primals. Alright, time to have a second com... Ow! A second companion. Spacer's Choice found a flaw in you. Flaw tutorial. During your adventures, things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is yours. Acrophobia! After repeating falling from great heights, you no longer function well when the ground is far beneath you. Minus one to dexterity, perception, and temperament. But I get a perk point. I think I'm going to be up high a lot in this game. I don't think having a phobia of heights is going to be the best. because it's So these effects will trigger whenever I'm too far from the ground. And that's a lot of major stats. Like, that's one body stat, one mind stat, and my regen health. Um... I don't think that's good. You knew I would get that one first. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. Oh no. Oh no, I hit accept. Oh no. Oh no. Um, all right, let's see how, let's see when it triggers. Um, and then we can revert a save if this is going to become an issue. So does climbing a hill cause it to trigger? No. Uh, I think there's a bandit camp with some buildings. Um. Oh, no. Well, we have another perk point if this isn't that bad, like... If I don't get it triggered over here, then I'm not going to be too concerned about it. And I'm honestly, like, my character would probably be afraid to hike. Ooh. Well, you guys wanted me to use my uh, 
super melee chainsaw energy thing. And looted before he hit the ground. I'm overburdened now. Coming. That's the last of them. Well, that works pretty be much better when you have the... Are these guys back alive? All right, then. Um... All right, let me do... Ah, oh, shit, it's all the way back there. I don't even have a fast travel save. Well, I guess we're stuck with that flaw. Yeah, catwalk. I mean, we can go back to the power plant and see. Um, let's get rid of these two. Why is my carrying capacity... Oh my god, I never put my armor back on. That would explain things. All right, there we go. Now I can carry more. What other weapons can we try out on these guys? Um... Let's try the grenade launcher and the slices it dices. Well, that worked fairly well. It slices, it dices! And everybody? Alright. Where did she kill the guy? Pistol, and then... Reconditioned Exo Helmet. Nice, that's a plus sneak. Nice, that's actually one of the ones we needed, so it was worthwhile coming back here. All right, so now we have a bridge, we got a really high lookout point, we've got a ladder, this will tell us when our Phobio activates, hopefully. Oh. This is... I mean, I guess it's whenever I'm in height of fall damage. Well, we're just going to live with that decision. Like, it's a real bad thing that it happened. But so the issue is, so when it happens, what do we get our, as our effect? So we get... we lose our passive health regen. And that... it That's actually it. I mean, we lose other points here. Like, we lose a little bit of headshot weakness damage and a little bit of speed and stuff, but, like, having no health regen is kind of on the rough side. And even when I'm... Yeah, set... Oh. No, this does not... This counts as solid ground. So it's just when I'm like... Whoa. whoa. Okay, this isn't too bad. I can deal with this. It's just my arachnophobia acting up. Or not arachnophobia. It's a spider as the phobia symbol. So I was thinking arachnophobia when I saw the spider. But yeah, okay. 